Mm. <coughs> Wait a second. This is going to be me trying to pronounce Hebrew names again. Well, for part of it at least. So, subtitles. <coughs> so, Israel sent out. So, Israel sent out was all that he. That all was his. Was all that was his. And when he reached Beersheba. He offered sacrifices to God, to the God of his father Isaac. <coughs> and God spoke to Israel in a vision at night and said, Jacob, Jacob, I am here, he replied. I am the God of your father, he said. Do not be afraid to go down to Egypt, for I will make you into a great nation there. <coughs> I will go down to Egypt with you, and I will surely bring you back again. <sighs> and Joseph's own hand will close your eyes. Yes. Then Jacob left Beersheba. And Israel's sons took their father Jacob and their children and their wives in the carts that Pharaoh had sent to transport them, transport him. So Jacob and all his offspring went to Egypt, taking with them their, their livestock and the possessions they had acquired in Canaan. Jacob brought with him to Egypt, his sons and grandsons, and his daughters and granddaughters, all his offspring. <coughs> this is where the phone began. These are the names of the sons of Israel, Jacob, and his descendants who were in Egypt. <coughs> yep, this is where the phone begins. Reuben, his firstborn. No, Reuben, the firstborn of Jacob, the sons of Reuben, Hanak, Palu, Hezron, Ron, and Carme, the sons of Simeon, J Jamal, Jamil, Jamin, Oda, <coughs> Jachin, Zoror, Shal and Shal, yeah, the son of a Canaanite woman. Hmm, the sons of Levi, Gershon, Korath, and Mirari, the sons of Judah, Ur, Onan. Shala, Prezel, and Zerah, but Ur and On died in the land of Canaan. Then why are they mentioned here? Oh well. The sons of Prez, Prez, the son, no. Hezron and Hamul, the sons of Ishar, Tola, Pa, A. Sumerian Pentateuch and Sirenic, Sirenic, Masonic Text, Pava, whatever, ja, Jashub, oh wait, Sumerian Pentateuch and, and some Sumerian manuscripts. Lub Shimron, the sons of Zebulun, <coughs> Shard, 
Elon and Joe. Wait, Elon? Or Elon? Elon? Elon Ma No. These are the sons of Leah, born to Jacob. These were the sons Leah bore to Jacob in Penan Aram. Aram. Or, um. This is Norse Western Mesopotamia. Which means land between the rivers, which are between the Tigris and Euphrates rivers and like Iraq. Probably from Barney, Iraq. Besides his daughter, Denerai, these are the sons and daughters of his. The sons and daughters of his were 33 in all. The sons of Gad, Zephon, oh, there's a D, um, Samir, Pendragon, blah, 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 Zeph, Zephon, Zephon, hey guy, Shanai, oh, hey guy, remember him from there, Zebon, Rai, Ranadai, and Uriel, the sons of Asher, <coughs> Emmaniah, Eshva, Ishve, and Briah. Their sister was Sira. Well, a girl gets mentioned. That is not common, I think. Yeah, anyway, the sons of Briah. Har Heber and Melchiah. These were the children born to Jacob by Zephah, whom Laban had given to his daughter Leah, sixteen in all. <coughs> the sons of Jacob's wife Rachel, Joseph, and Benjamin. In Egypt, Manasseh and Ephraim were born to Joseph in Asnath, daughter of Biathnath, daughter of Potiphar, Potiphar, the priest of On. And of course, there is an E. That is. Heliopas, they piss something. The sons of Benjamin, Bella, Becker. So yeah, the sons of Be that means Benjamin was old enough to have kids. But yet sometimes it calls him a kid in the previous stories. How old do you have to be to be considered an adult in the Bible? There's a question for you. Ashabala, Gira, Nemen, Ella, Ahai, Rosh, Mepia, Hippamim, and Er Arad. These were the sons of Rachel's. These were the son of Rachel who bore, who were born to Jacob, fourteen in all. The sons of Dan. Hashem, the sons of Nephetal, Jezreel, Ganai, Jezer, and Shemilim. These were the sons born to Jacob by Belah, whom Leban had given to his daughter Rachel, seven in all, all those who went to Egypt with Jacob, who were his descendants, not counting his sons' wives, numbered sixty-six in person. It's with the two sons, oh, there's an F, Hebrews, Septuagint, the nine children, 
okay, who had been born to Joseph in Egypt, the members of Jacob's family which went to Egypt were seventy in all and there's a G seventy five Hebrew subject seventy five. So apparently there's a different translation still how many people went. Of course there is. Now Jacob sent Judah ahead of him to Joseph to get directions to Geshon, Goshan, or whatever. When they had arrived, when they arrived in the region of Geshon, Joseph had a, his chariot made ready and went to Geshon <coughs> to meet his father Israel. As soon as Joseph appeared before him he threw his arms around his father of course there's an H he grew around him sure and wept for a long time Israel said to Joseph now I'm ready to die since I have seen for myself that you are still alive then Joseph said to his brothers and to his father's household I will go up and speak to Pharaoh, and will say to him, My brothers and my father's household, who were living in the land of Canaan, have come to me. The men are shepherds, they tend livestock, and they have brought along their flocks and herds, and everything they own. When Pharaoh calls, you in an axe, what is your occupation? You should answer, we, no, your servants have t tended livestock from our boyhood on, just as our father did, then you will be allowed to settle in the land, in the region of Geshon, for all shepherds are detestable to the Egyptians. Wait. Hmm. Joseph went and told Pharaoh, My father and brothers with their flocks and herds and everything they own have come from the land of Canaan and are now in Geshon, Goshan or wherever he chose five of his brothers and presented them before Pharaoh. I wonder which five. Another thing for you to discuss and come up with theories is below. Pharaoh asked the brothers, what is your occupation? Your servants are shepherds, they replied to Pharaoh. Just as our father fathers were, they also said to him, <coughs> I might have misread the other line. It might have said fathers. Oh well. We have come to here. We have come to live here for a while because the famine is severe in Canaan and your servants' flocks have no pasture. So now please let your servants settle in Geshon. Pharaoh said to Joseph, Your father and your brothers have come to you, and the land of Egypt is before you. Settle your father and your brothers in the blessed best part of the land, let them live in Geshon, Goshan, whatever, <coughs> and if you know of any among them with special ability, put them in charge of my own livestock, so if any of them are particularly good with livestock, put them in charge of mine, ooh, interesting, then Joseph brought his father Jacob in, and presented him before Pharaoh. After he, after Jacob blessed Pharaoh. Ooh, interesting. Well, I guess it's like he is, or said farewell to. No way. Or greeted. 
Well, so either said hi or blessed him, I guess. Pharaoh's like, this is my most trustworthy person's father. I guess I can be. And he's old. Sure, why not? Blessing. I don't know about the cultural stuff back then. And anyway, Pharaoh asked him, How old are you? Jacob said to Pharaoh, The years of my pilgrimage are a hundred and thirty. Well, that's a weird way of putting it. The My years have been few and difficult, and they do not equal the years of the pilgrimage of my father's. Then Jacob blessed Pharaoh. Okay, now this says, or f said farewell to, and went out of his presence. So Jacob settled his father and his brothers in Egypt and gave them property in the best part of the land, the district of Ramses. I think this is the closest we get to anything named actually named Ramses to the whole Israelite in Egypt story. If you know Ramses is the popular pharaoh for Moses to be against. Sort of against. As Pharaoh directed, Joseph also provided his father and his brothers and all his father's household with food according to the number of their children. <coughs> <coughs> Wow, there's some stuff to discuss there, I guess. First, you'll guys find anything.